Hello, boys and girls. Welcome. Today is December 16, 2020. Guess what time it is? It's Eureka time. And our goal for today is to get a 90% or higher on our end of module. Today, we're going to be going over lesson four. And today, our objective is I can express the length of an object using centimeter cubes as length units. Let's find out what all these words mean. Our key points. Well, we have centimeter. And instead of writing our, the whole unit, since it's such a big word, we can just use the abbreviation SCM for centimeter. Then we can all, we're also going to be using centimeter cubes to measure our objects today, which each one centimeter cube equals one centimeter. That's why they're called centimeter cubes. The unit we're going to be using today is called is centimeter cubes because we're using centimeter cubes to measure. And remember, unit means an object that we use to measure and it has to be the same size. So like when Ms. Gomez says to name the unit, that's what we're going to do today too. We're always going to name the unit and today our unit is going to be centimeter cubes because that's what we're using to measure and they're all the same size. Then we have to look for three rules that we're going to learn today. First rule, no gaps. Second rule, no overlaps. And last, we must always make sure to align the endpoints. So these are three rules that we must remember today when we're measuring. So we must remember no gaps. Repeat after me. Get ready. No overlaps. Get ready and align the endpoints. Get ready. Yes. And of course, we're talking about length today. And length is how long something is. For example, this pencil is 10 centimeter cubes long. So that means this was the unit they're using to measure it, centimeter cubes, just like these on top of the pencil. How are we going to be successful? Well, all we have to do is measure the length of the object and then just complete the statement. Easy. Ready? For right now, you do not, you can just have your whiteboard or your pa paper ready, but we do not need to do, we do not need it yet. Just make sure we are listening and we are observing what we are doing so that we can learn and be successful today. Ready? Let's make sure you're sitting tall in three, two, one. <laughs> so we're gonna start. How can we find out the length of this crayon? Go ahead and turn and talk to your partner if you're in person. And if you're at home, go ahead and say it out loud. How can we find out the length of this brand new crayon? Get ready. And we are back in three, two, one. All eyes should be back on the screen. Awesome. So I heard some of you say use a string or we can use a ruler or we can even use the centimeter cubes we're going to be using today, right? Well, let's find out how long it is using these centimeter cubes that Ms. Gomez has right down here. Let me get my pointer right down here. What do you notice about these centimeter cubes? Say your answer out loud. Get ready. And we are back in three, two, one. Eyes on the screen. Yes. So what do we notice? We notice that they're all exactly the same size. And remember, that was one thing. In order for us to call it a unit and to use it to measure objects, they must all be the same size so that we get an accurate measurement. That means a correct measurement. And today our unit is going to be centimeter cubes. What is our unit going to be today? Get ready. Yes, centimeter cubes. Since they have the same length, we can figure out how many centimeter cubes long this crayon is. 
count with me as I lay down each centimeter cube to match the length of the crayon. Ready? I'm gonna remember to say the unit just like this. One centimeter cube. Am I off to a good start? Get ready. Some of you said yes, some of you said no, but let me check. No, I have to align the endpoints. And if you see right here, let me go ahead and get my pen so y'all can see. My crayon is not aligned with the centimeter cube, so my endpoints are not aligned. Let me fix that. There we go. No, my line is not perfect, that's the way it looks. But now are my endpoints aligned? Get ready. Yes, now we can continue counting to see how many centimeter cubes long this crayon is. Ready? Two centimeter cubes, say it with me. Three centimeter cubes, four centimeter cubes, five centimeter cubes, six centimeter cubes, seven centimeter cubes, eight centimeter cubes, nine centimeter cubes, 10 centimeter cubes. <gasps> so my crayon is 10 centimeter cubes long, am I right? What? Something's wrong. What is wrong with my measuring? Yes. I mean, my last, if you look at my centimeter cube, my 10 centimeter cube is aligned at the end points. Both are aligned at the end points. Hmm. What? Do you, do you agree with Ms. Gomez? No, what else could be wrong? Let me check. Go ahead and share what you think is wrong with my measuring. Ready? And we're back in three, two, one. Eyes on the screen. If you said that the centimeter cubes were not laid out correctly, you are right. Because some parts of the centimeter cubes are under others. And the math term for this was in our key points. My cubes are overlapping. And that was one of the rules for measuring. They should not, they should not have no overlaps. Say it with me. Get ready. No overlaps. Yes. And there's a space between the centimeter cubes and that's not an accurate so let's go ahead and try it again and there's a space between centimeter cubes and that's not an accurate way to get a measurement right we don't know if it really is 10 centimeter cubes long we can't have any spaces let's try it again hmm i hope i get it right count with me get ready one centimeter cube two centimeter cubes, three centimeter cubes, four centimeter cubes, five centimeter cubes, six centimeter cubes, seven centimeter cubes. So oh, my crayon is seven centimeter cubes long. Am I right? Get ready. No, huh? Well, let me check. My endpoints are aligned. Look at the back, look at the front. My cubes are not overlapping. They're not one, right one on top of the other anymore. Hmm. What is wrong with my measuring? Say your answer. Get ready. And we're back in three, two, one. Eyes on the screen. Yes, you're right. The crayon isn't broken with a space in the middle, so the centimeter cubes have to be all connected without overlaps or no gaps. What is our next rule? Get ready. Yes, they should have no gaps. Well, 
Let me try that one more time. Count with me. One centimeter cube, two centimeter cubes, three centimeter cubes, four centimeter cubes, five centimeter cubes, six centimeter cubes, seven centimeter cubes, eight centimeter cubes, nine centimeter cubes. How long is a crayon in centimeter cubes? Get ready. Yes, remember to say the unit, nine centimeter cubes long. And this time, we got it correct. There is no gaps, check. There is no overlaps, check. And my endpoints are lined, check. So, did you notice that every time Ms. Gomez made a mistake or she measured the wrong way, we got a different answer? Well, that could happen to you if we don't measure correctly. So always remember those rules. No gaps, no overlaps, and align the endpoints. Ready? So every centimeter cube is exactly the same length. So we can use them as length units. That is the reason we're measuring with centimeter cubes because each centimeter cubes is one centimeter long. So what is our length unit called? Get ready. Centimeter cube. Let's try that again, just in case we need to remember. What is our length unit called? Get ready. Yes, centimeter cube. That's what we're using to measure. Let's check if we have the rules ready. So remember the first, no gaps. We must always check for no gaps, for no overlaps, that our endpoints align, and that all length units, so all the objects we're using to measure, are the same size. These are four things we need to look out for when measuring an object so that we can get an accurate or the correct measurement. So look at this example. Let's check off for everything. Ready? Hmm, look at the object. Do we have no gaps? Get ready. No, we don't because we do have gaps. Do you see these spaces in between? Those are gaps. So we can't check it off. How about no overlaps? Is there any cubes on top of the others? Get ready. No, right? So we do not have no overlaps. How about our endpoints? Are our endpoints aligned? Get ready. Nope, they're not, so we can't check it off. And all the length units the same size, so are all our cubes the same size? Get ready. Yes. Check. But remember, we still have gaps and our endpoints weren't aligned, so that would not give us an accurate measurement, or that would not give us the correct measurement. Let's look at another example. Let me just go ahead and erase these so that we can check off with their next example. Here we have a Christmas ornament. So let's check off. Do we have no gaps? Get ready. Yes, we have no gaps. Check. They're all connected. Is there any overlaps? Get ready. No, right? There's not. They're all in a straight row next to each other. And are our endpoints aligned? Look at the back, look at this side. Then we look at this side. Yep, they're all aligned. Check. And are all length units the same size? Get ready. Yes, all our cubes are the same size. So you see, this is the correct way of measuring. We followed all the rules. Now let's practice measuring. And remember, since today our length unit is centimeter cubes, 
we always write the unit. And instead of writing all the word centimeters, since it's such a big word, you can always use the abbreviation by writing CM, that stands for centimeter, and then cubes long. Here's our first example. Let's measure the Christmas tree. We have no gaps. There's no overlaps. All the cubes are the same length and our endpoints are aligned. So now let's go ahead and count the cubes so we know how many cubes long it is. Sorry, let me just get my pen and let's count. Count with me, get ready. One centimeter cube long, two centimeter cube long, three centimeter cubes long, four centimeter cubes long, five centimeter cubes long, six centimeter cubes long. So how tall is this Christmas tree? Get ready. Yes, six centimeter cubes long. So we, I would just write a six. Let's do another one. Oh, now I have to erase my numbers. Now we're gonna measure these Christmas lights. Ready? Count with me. Sorry. So remember, there's no gaps, there's no overlaps. We align the endpoints by making sure we stop counting right here. And let's count. Ready? One centimeter cube long, two centimeter cubes long, three centimeters cubes long, four centimeter cubes long, five centimeter cubes long. How long are these Christmas lights? Get ready. Yes, five centimeter cubes long. Great job. Let me go ahead and erase this line since... Now let's measure our last object, which will be our Christmas bow. Ready? So let's go ahead and measure, make sure that, remember, we're gonna stop right here so that we know how long our bow is. Count with me, get ready. One centimeter cube long, two centimeter cubes long. So how long is our bow? Get ready. Yes, two centimeter cubes long. Great job, boys and girls. So all we did was making sure that we were measuring. We learned the rules of measuring, which was no gaps. Say it with me, get ready. No gaps, no overlaps, and align the endpoints. So make sure that you are ready to practice measuring some more objects for today's live session, which will be using through Pear Deck. So be ready to log in. See you then.